Giannis Antetokounmpo was drafted by the Bucks. He was picked 14th, and we all know what a lucky night that was for the city of Milwaukee. For three years, people were calling Giannis an overrated bust. People told him to get himself and his six points per game back to Greece. We all know how wrong they were to say that. Giannis sounds at MVP in our resume. That's six points to four all-star teams and being a choker. I just want to put out a quick apology for not uploading last week. Also for having an inaccurately advertised upload schedule. I'm working on changing this and I'm also changing our channel slogan, which you can find on the channel art. I also want to notify you that I am no longer uploading on Wednesdays. One last thing, it wasn't on purpose, but this is my 34th video. So it makes sense that it's about Giannis. Now, on with the video. As you probably know by now, the Milwaukee Bucks have gotten swept from the NBA playoffs. Well, not swept, but they should have been. And there may or may not be a bid on that coming up soon. And their future is in limbo, depending on a single player's contract decision. And I think you know who. Today, I'm going to walk you through the future of Cream City, starting with Giannis' decision to leave. He recently told Yahoo Sports, I mean recently, like two hours before the recording at least, that he doesn't currently intend on leaving Milwaukee and will not request a trade this offseason. This leaves plenty to chance, but I think this confirms a Greek freak who signed the $250 million guaranteed five-year Supermax deal with the Bucks. If he agrees to this deal, it would be the biggest contract in NBA history and 50 million bigger than Patrick Mahomes' record-breaking deal that made headlines the last couple months. And so, Giannis signed the deal. What's next? Tress Middleton's also on a player option. If Giannis stays, he will too. So that's the Bucks' core together, as Eric Bledsoe so. and Brooke Lopez will not expire soon, though Brooke Lopez might retire in the coming two years. Dante DiVincenzo is expiring soon, but he is replaceable. Let's replace him with Seth Curry, an upcoming free agent. So, the starting five for 2020-21 is Eric Bledsoe, Seth Curry, Chris Middleton, Giannis Santetokounmpo, and Brooke Lopez. I think this starting five is enough to take them to the Eastern Conference Finals, where they are rejected by the Boston Celtics. I don't think the Bucks can make it to the Finals without another star. So, let's add another star. One guy I had in mind for them is Ben Simmons, which makes Eric, Eric Bledsoe a sixth man and a definitely solid sixth man at that. The one problem with this is shooting, but we added Seth Curry last year, and that should be enough for now. Ben Simmons and Giannis is definitely a title team. Though, in our simulation, they lose to the Clippers in the finals. This is because the Clippers re-signed Kawhi Leonard and with the superstar Shai Gilgis Alexander, managed to beat our Bucks. So, what happens next year? Well, my guess is as good as yours. I don't know. Let's say they re-sign Eric Bledsoe, Seth Curry, Chris Middleton, Giannis Antetokounmpo, and Brooke Lopez. That's their five best players because Ben Simmons would be on an expiring contract. So they re-sign him too. What's next? Well, I think that they're going to make the finals for a second year in a row and finally get over the hump and win. Giannis finally has a superstar teammate and he has the experience he needs to become a title player. He also wins his third MVP, and the Bucks are rolling. I think now it's time for Brooke Lopez and Eric Bledsoe to both retire. What happens now? I think that the Bucks lose their best six man and they lose their center, so they're gonna have one off year. After that, they're gonna go into rebuild mode, trade Giannis and see what they can do. Anyways, that's what I think will go on. Tell me what you think in the comment section below.